Falva County is an amazing place. Uh, it, it's incredible. It's almost completely surrounded by water. And so it really does benefit from the health and productivity of the Chesapeake Bay and the rivers and streams that feed it. It's an incredibly diverse place for wildlife. It's relatively rural, a uh, lot of farms, a lot of forests. Um, a lot of people really enjoy living here. The Eastern Shore is an amazing place to live and we're very fortunate to live here because of the natural landscapes that we have intertwined with agriculture. And we have an abundance of water. And the thing that connects the whole region together really is the Chesapeake Bay. Many rivers throughout the bay are actually improving. The Chop Tank, on the other hand, which is one of Talbot's major rivers, is actually going in the wrong direction. We're seeing nutrient and sediment pollution increase. It tells us that we need to be working on the landscape and making sure that we're stopping pollution at its source. We have industrial stormwater, which we could see higher chemical concentrations as well as oils. Agricultural runoff, which we can see nutrient runoff, i.e. phosphorus and nitrogen as well as sediment. And then we also have urban and residential runoff where we could see not only nutrients, but we see our yard waste and leaf litter. It's not just a choice. We have to clean up the bay. And that's what the Clean Water Act was founded on. It says that for the nation's water, make sure there is a plan in place to address those pollutants and ensure that plan is implemented. We've been allocated a load as to how much total nitrogen and total sediment and total phosphorus we need to deal with. So the key is, is rather than wait till the last minute, the states are asking the counties to start reducing today. We have a kind of unique scenario is we actually have old colonial towns. And with that, the stormwater coming off the roads is going right into a storm sewer and then ultimately discharging out into the stream or river. And with over 370 miles of ditches, there's opportunities for the county to utilize those in an urban stormwater management strategy. It's been a while coming, the weather's finally cooperated and it's um, turning out real well. I got good day for it. And had some concerns about um, the amount of sediment that was leaving the field and where we had you know, a fair amount of water comes across here, it goes onto the creek, try and take some steps to reduce some of that impact. The basis of the targeting tool uses uh, LIDAR information, which is a very high resolution topography. In Mr. Swain's case, he was generous to allow us to do a demonstration project here. We showed him the results of the targeting analysis and he confirmed that, you know, that's what he saw on the land of how water was moving. Utilizing LIDAR, we can actually start narrowing down our locations and sites. And through that, we can then start pinpointing for the highest nitrogen and phosphorus reductions. Uh, some new topsoil that's been put in that was after the grading was done. And it's been seeded with grass and some wetland plants that are gonna act as natural filters. So when we get a heavy rain, it's gonna have a chance to have sediment and nutrient pollution settle out instead of rushing downstream. Roadside ditches are really a tremendous opportunity, not just for Talbot County, but really for the Chesapeake Bay as a whole to make the difference in water quality that's needed without breaking the bank. Today, yep. you guys are good. It's basically able to treat the runoff from the ag field. In addition to that, we also have the road over on this side. So we have a dual purpose. When we talk about costs and county budgets, very effective. I think these are very low cost tools um, for meeting our urban stormwater management loads. It's very cheap. <laughs> I mean, you know, because it's simple. Our thinking on this is we're trying to basically create a product that's easy to replicate in Talbot County on all these ditches. So, once you've done that, the excavation part, the installation part, you got a good, good crew, you work with professionals, pretty straightforward. It, as you can tell, I mean, we got 400 feet of retrofitted ditch done in one day. The two-stage ditch takes up less farmland adjacent to the roadside ditch. The ag load for nutrient reduction is so large, everything that they can do, they'll try and do. Farmers are the stewards of the earth, and they're trying to do the right thing. So if they take care of the earth, it'll continue to produce for them for years and years. Over time, there'll be communities looking to Talbot as a leader and, and looking to take advantage of this technology where they have their own obligations to make progress. Clean water is our right. 
It is important for the vibrancy of our economy. If we don't act now, it's only going to get more expensive later. We have to start changing our philosophy or shifting our paradigm when we talk environment as a cost and look at more as uh, anything that we spend on protecting our environment as an investment or economic development. If our streams and rivers basically no longer can hold life, people are not going to want to live near the water because it's going to smell. Um, so it's, it's really imperative for Talby County as well as the state of Maryland. When you have farmers and government and nonprofit organizations and citizens all working together for a common goal, that's when you can really leap forward on progress. And this is one of those solutions that can really work.